Hey everyone, The Lighting Collector here, and today we have a little short video because I don't have any 175 watt mercury fixtures in easy access, so I can't test this right now. Anyway, this is a new Westinghouse 175 watt clear mercury vapor bulb. It is in the BT28 shape, but what's cool about it is it's not what you'd think it would be. Oh no, this is the old BT28 shape. The original one that Westinghouse invented back in the late 50s. So, or I think it was even earlier than that. This is in fact another Angelo Brothers Westinghouse product. Now the box, for some strange reason, says it lasts 10,000 hours, which is bull. I've seen these things last way longer. The arc tube is still pretty freaking big, especially compared to the... GE bulbs and Fiat and stuff like that. So I think that's just a misprint on the box that they've never fixed. Because the coated version of this, which is the same exact shape, um, lasts 24,000 hours on the box. So I'm not sure why that happened, but I would. it's very likely it's just a printing mistake. Because, I mean, again, this bulb does not look like it would only last 10,000 hours. Mercury lamps that do that have really tiny arc tubes and all sorts of other flaws, but this is still a pretty sturdy looking bulb. It's got good arc tube support, does not have two starting probes unfortunately, so it's not built like a lifeguard, but you know, it still is built pretty high quality for, you know, being made in China and so forth. As per always though, it will never, ever live up to the Westinghouse lifeguard standard but it still is a good product regardless so yeah I will buy the coated version pretty soon I just wanted to get the clear first because I don't have as many clear 175 watt lamps as well as um, 100 watt I don't have a lot of those either most of the ones I have I got from other places like Philips and some bulbs that came with fixtures I bought and so forth but yeah so it's pretty cool I do like that they still kept the old logo though it's nice they bought the rights for it and yeah so it's their commercial service line which is all their HID stuff pretty much and it has a ton of different languages on it It's mostly just idiot warnings though. So yeah, this is pretty neat. Uh, I'll get a video of this in operation hopefully soon. I need to get one of my buckets down from the attic um, and do that. I don't think I'm going to install all of my bucket light fixtures at my grandma's house because I actually want to keep a fixture to test bulbs in. And like I said in another video, I want to actually build, you know, ballast and socket combinations so I can just test bulbs whenever and not have to have a, a whole light fixture to do so. But until then, I'll be using regular light fixtures. So, yeah. That's this bulb and, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. It is really cool to see only one company still manufacturing this same BT-28 design that is so far gone. Unfortunately, the BT-25 old shape and even the more recent modern shape are no longer manufactured by anybody as far as I'm aware for sodium, metal halide, and mercury vapor. And I, the BT, what, whatever the other, BT-37, there we go. The BT-37 stuff for 400 watt has always been the same and the BT, 50, I think? BT-56, there we go. For 1000 watt has always been the same. I think BT-56 still is 700 watt mercury, which by the way is still made only by a few companies, but it's still made. Some people were saying on Lighting Gallery it's not, they're wrong. So yeah, this is pretty much the only um, old design that was altered, I should say, that's still being made. 
because sadly, like I mentioned, the 100 watt bulbs are no longer, and I don't know if the 250 watt ever had this similar shape, but just a little larger. I don't remember if, I'd have to look that up, but I don't know if they make any BT 250 watts like that anymore. I think it's all ED. But anyway, that's that little video there. It's not much shorter than a regular one, but yeah, so that's that. And a, a video of this in operation will come as soon as I can get down one of those fixtures. Thank you for watching.